On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5, welcome to the State Road 46 public meeting. Thank you for attending. The purpose of this public meeting is to allow interested persons an opportunity to give feedback with regards to the conceptual design of the roadway and drainage improvements from west of Palm Avenue to US-1. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5, Title VI Coordinator at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720-6834 or at 386-943-5367 or at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. This meeting is being held to afford all citizens the right to understand the project and comment on concerns to the Florida Department of Transportation. The meeting is being held to comply with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968, as amended. This public meeting is also being held in accordance with Chapter 120 of Florida Statutes. This public meeting is being held in accordance with the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1968, as amended, 23 U.S.C. 128, 40 CFR 1500-1508, 23 CFR 771, Section 339.155, Florida Statute, and Executive Order 11988, Flood Plain Management and Executive Order 11990, Protection of Wetlands of the Constitution of the United States of America. This public meeting was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. The Florida Department of Transportation would like to introduce Sarah Van Gundy, the department's project manager. With us tonight is Robert Neal with SRD Engineers. Mr. Neal is the engineer of record for this project. This public meeting is being held to allow interested persons an opportunity to give feedback concerning the design of the proposed roadway and drainage improvements along West Main Street approaching US-1. You can also make an official statement by filling out a comment card and handing it to a staff member or placing it in the comment box. If you provide your name and address, the Florida Department of Transportation will respond in writing to your question or comment provided during this meeting. If you do not want to make a formal statement for the record, project staff will be available after the presentation to answer any questions as well. The purpose of the roadway and drainage work is to extend the life of the existing pavement and improve drainage conditions along West Main Street from Broadway Avenue to US-1. Curb and gutter, sidewalk, and drainage inlets will be constructed along both sides of West Main Street. To facilitate the sidewalk and drainage improvements, the tree located on the south side of Main Street across from the attic shop thrift store will be removed. This will create a safer path for pedestrians traveling on the newly proposed sidewalk. This design enhances pedestrian, bicycle, and vehicle safety and improves drainage conditions along the roadway. This design meets federal highway standards, state of Florida design standards, and Florida state statutes. What you see on the projector is an overview of the project. From the beginning of the project just west of Palm Avenue to Broadway Avenue, the roadway is being resurfaced to extend the life of the pavement. From Broadway Avenue to US-1, the curb and gutter will be constructed on both sides of Main Street in addition to the resurfacing.
This is a proposed typical section that a driver will see traveling along West Main Street between Broadway Avenue and US 1. As you can see, the new features will include curb and gutter, bicycle markings, and sidewalk on each side. This project will require daytime and nighttime work. There will be no lane closures allowed between the hours of 6.30 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. within 600 feet of the intersection at US 1. Drainage inlets and curbing will be added along the West Main Street between Broadway Avenue and US 1, which will require modifications to the existing driveways. However, access to the driveways and business entrances will be maintained during construction. Standard blue and white business entrance signs will be provided at businesses if the normal entrance is temporarily relocated or modified during construction. All lanes will remain open in the event of a hurricane evacuation. The design plans for this project will be completed in the fall of 2017. Contractors can begin bidding on the construction of the project in early winter of 2017. And finally, construction is scheduled to begin in late winter of 2018. There are two resurfacing projects nearby that will be under construction at the same time. This overview shows the limits for the West Main Street improvements west of I-95. The overview shown here indicates the limits of resurfacing along US-1. These projects will be under construction concurrently with the West Main Street improvements. These projects will also require daytime and nighttime work. Access to driveways and business entrances will be maintained during construction. All lanes will remain open in the event of a hurricane evacuation. For current project information, visit www.cflroads.com. You can access the project by clicking on the Brevard County tab, then select the project under FPID 43239-8. When you open the link, you will find important project information such as the documentation provided at this meeting, the estimated construction costs, and contact information for the department's project manager. If you would like to make a comment, please fill out a comment card and return it tonight, or mail your comment card back to the department by June 1, 2017. All comments will receive a written response from the Department of Transportation. On behalf of the Department of Transportation, thank you for your attendance. If you would like additional information, feel free to approach staff members at any time.